So I'm back in Visual Studio Code and at this point you should have Visual Studio Code installed if you didn't have it already and you should also have NPM installed. So once you have these two, we're going to go and click on terminal and then click on new terminal so that we can open a new terminal and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit and what I want to do is to run NPM. So that's node package manager install and you can also do I for install. So I'm going to do the shortcut, which is I and we want to install TypeScript globally. So I'm going to put dash G to install it everywhere on the computer or to install it in a way that I can run TypeScript command no matter where I am on my computer. And then we're going to type TypeScript. So that's going to go ahead and install TypeScript on my computer. I already have it. I'm just going to go ahead and run it, but I already have it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And you can see that it updated some packages for me, but I already have it installed. So your output should look a little bit different, but you should also have it installed. So now what I can do is if I can do TSC, so that's calling the TypeScript compiler, and then I'm going to do dash version and press enter. And you can see that I have version 4.3.5. So that's my TypeScript version. And that's how I know that I have TypeScript installed. So go ahead and follow those steps and have TypeScript install. All you have to do is to run npm install dash g for global and then TypeScript and make sure you don't get any errors in your output. And then after that, you can type in TSC for TypeScript compiler dash version and that should give you the version of TypeScript that you have installed on your computer. So we're almost ready. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up VS Code so that we can run TypeScript code and Visual Studio Code.